blessed morning. It feels good. I love Mondays. I don't know about y'all, but your girl love Mondays. I feel like Mondays is very productive days. It's like the fresh start of the new week. It feels like a new month. So basically, if y'all don't know, I am doing a 12 week program. So today is a new week. So that means that, oh, a new week means a new month for me so it's just a new week for me to get it together okay but hey y'all i hope you guys are enjoying your monday i am on my way to my client this particular client is a new client for me um it is a woman this time and she actually stayed down the street from me so it's not a far so that's why i'm talking real fast because I'm really, really, really close to her house right now. So, um, this morning I got up around 7 something, got the kids ready for school. The girl has to have a morning break, I'm telling you, on the toilet. I'm just TMI, but it's the truth. Okay, um, I got dressed and I was just like reflecting back on my video that I just recently posted. If you haven't seen the video before this, make sure you go check it out. But, I ate a bagel this morning with cream cheese. It was okay. Like, it was just plain cream cheese. It was okay. But it definitely filled me up because I love bread. I really do. But, um, so this particular client, um, I think I'm supposed to take her to her doctor's appointment, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, <clears throat> Like I said, always say, I'm not sure when I can pick up the camera, but I'm going to try my best to pick up the camera today. Oh, excuse me. Y'all, this week is a busy week for me. Like, this week and next week, baby, y'all going to have footage after footage after footage. And I really want to make this video a two-hour long video. So we're going to try our best really, really bad to make this a two-hour long footage because that's what I want. I want to give y'all something to watch, something to go back to. But Father God, in the name of Jesus God, I just want to tell you thank you for what So this week, y'all, when I tell y'all I have so much to do this week, I have so many clients. So Tuesday is the only one that I notice um, that I get up at 1 o'clock. But I want to think about um, my people. They might fill that up before Tuesday even get here. So, we'll see. Because if not, then I'll probably request or I'm going to take advantage of getting off early to go get tested for HIV. But I'd rather work because I can do that Friday. Because Friday, I don't have to be working until 10. So, we'll see. Um, okay, so, um, I'm on my way to this client. She... she I didn't read that she have off time or anything like that, so I have nothing to worry about. Um, let's see. Like I said, she stayed down the street from me, so that's the plus. Like literally, like 13 minutes away from me. It's crazy. Um, but I, I do need to start investing in some more scrubs, y'all. Like I need more scrubs really bad, especially for next week, because I have to wear scrubs three times in a row next week. Um, you guys will see that why soon. <laughs> I'm super excited. But anyway, so I need to invest in more scrub hats because I'm tired of wearing this one. I'm tired of washing it and wearing it. Um, I'm ready to get another scrub hat, like at least two more, a black one and maybe a light blue. I want to invest in some more scrubs um, because like the pants I have on is not technically scrub pants, but it looks like it. But I feel I want to, by me being a big girl, I want to be very, very comfortable in my scrubs. So there is a uniform store closer to my house. So I think I'm going to go there and stop being lazy and actually try on the scrubs that I need to wear. So I just need to try on the scrubs. Um, so that's what I'm going to do um, this week. I have to. So maybe I will know. Mm, we'll see. We'll see what day I'll be able to do that because I am busy this whole week. I, I work. I work the entire. At the next line, turn right. So um, we'll see. But I definitely need to do that, and I definitely need to invest in some. Like I want to start getting my house together too, y'all. Like we haven't made a decision if we're gonna stay or if we're gonna move, but we're gonna see. We have enough time to figure that out before my lease is up. Um. So, 
my lease up in September, so I'm gonna decide then. But even if I told my husband, I still wanna do something to the house, like get it organized and stuff like that. So I am getting my stuff together because I am about to drive my client um, car. So there's times where they can either ride with us or um, we can drive their car. It's easier for me to drive her car because that means I ain't gotta use my gas. Even though I get paid for my mileage, but still, girl, I'd rather, I'd rather drive her car. If she got a truck, though, it's fine. It's fine. But so far, she's an easy patient. She do everything herself, child. I ain't got to do nothing. But I'm just taking her to her doctor's appointment, so that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to take her to her doctor's appointment. I had to move my car over so I can put her car out. And I'm going to take her to her appointment, come back. Um... She wants me to really take her to my first, my very first job as a caregiver. <gasps> but we'll see. I'm only here to one and then I have to go to my second client. So we'll see, child. Um, I wonder how far my second client, probably still 30 minutes away. Because that's going towards the west side. Okay, I got to go, y'all, because she's ready for me. Hey, y'all. So I am at the doctor's office with my patient. And, um... The views are beautiful, y'all. Let me show y'all the views. I'm just gonna... This is what I see. Oh, I'm scared. I my up. This is what I see. So beautiful. It breaks my heart because it's a bunch of hospitals over there, and like this one over here is where a bunch of children that's dying. So this is the view they see. I want some coffee, but... that I am at is the hospital that I'm planning on working with this company when it's time for me to apply for a hospital job. Good. But this is actually the same hospital that I want to work for, the same company, but not the actual location. But um, this particular patient, she's a handful, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. She's a handful. And she a lot. Like, I, I can look over her talking mess to me, disrespecting me. I can look over that because she just, you know, she older. She's like her ways. I was just telling my husband, I was like, all oh, my mom thinking about is what furniture I'm going to buy for my house. <laughs> Everything else is irrelevant to me. So. Okay, y'all, let me sit here and chill a little bit longer. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but I'm here from 
I'm with her from 9.30 to 1.30 and then I have another patient right after this. So, um, I like this job better than the first one. I can tell you that. Like, I like this job way better than the first one. So, I don't want to get in trouble for recording, so I'm going to start recording. so bad girl we're back okay so um i'm getting ready to clock out i'm getting ready to head to my next client so let me tell give y'all like a recap of what happened today so um i had to take my client to the doctor's office and i sat there for a little while and i was, I was sitting there i saw the water and i was like this is the best time to like take the time and worship God and you know just get a worship in so I started worshiping praying and, and crying a little bit and singing and then because my client was in there for at least like two hours so as I was worshiping God I heard the Holy Spirit told me to speak to the woman that was at the it was a black woman at the um had me to speak to a black woman that was there and I asked her I was like do you believe in God um she was like yes and i told her what the holy spirit told me to tell her this at first because i'm like god is this really speaking to me you know sometimes people can get their emotions and the you know praying and i wanted to make sure it was him so as i walked up to her i was talking to her and i'm not sure what she's going through but i told her what the holy spirit told me to tell her of course i'm not going to repeat it because that was meant for just for her ears and what was her reaction but i know when i was getting ready to leave i can tell that i can tell that she needed to hear what god had to say to her and i'm just so grateful that i was obedient to god as he had me to speak to her and i was worshiping and god started speaking to me so i spoke to her and it was it was just i was just grateful that god used me you know and then sometimes I ask myself, Brenda, why are you doing this? It makes sense, you know. If I wasn't there working with this patient, how was I was gonna able to deliver the message that God had for me to give to this young lady? And she's older than me, of course, but you know what I mean. But it was just grateful that he used me for his glory. And I'm grateful for that. But anyways, you guys, let's talk about this particular client but you know, this client is a handful baby Woo, baby she a handful let me, let me let's recap so when i got here girl when i got here first of all i was scared of her dog and i cussed oh i had to ask god to forgive me i wasn't even thinking about the client or or the fact that the schedule was on the phone i immediately asked god to forgive me for cussing because i am trying to stop cussing and i'm trying to live right you get what i'm saying so i immediately asked god for forgiveness girl she had this big old dog out now mind you i told my job i said i don't do dogs dogs don't do me and i don't do cats girl this is the second house i came to with dogs <sighs> second house so she was like i heard you swear about the dog and i was in my head i'm like well ma'am i told you you should never have the dog out ma'am <laughs> <laughs> but I did apologize to her. I did apologize because she's my elder and I'm going to respect her. Okay. So, um, I, first of all, the house was just, it's weird. Anyways, um, so I sat, sat down, started writing some of my book because she was getting ready for her doctor's appointment. She for her doctor's appointment. So I decided to go ahead and start taking advantage of writing my book. I was able to get like two pages in. Um, I'm working on the Nia character right now. So, um, I was able to do that. Y'all have this bathroom so bad. So, as we was getting ready to leave, she was like, we're driving in my car today. And I was like, okay, well, shoot. Save me on gas. Miles. You know Turn what I'm saying? That's how I was looking. Part. I was like, okay, well, she saved me on gas. I'm cool with that. After that, um, we went to first of all 
me driving y'all she talked so much drunk the whole time but i you know sometimes you have to tune it like those type of clients those those companion clients you have to tune them out sometimes like i was tuning her i was at first i was aggravated a little bit because i'm trying to focus and you're nitpicking at me so i just tune her out basically so i took her to the doctor's office we was there for like a good two hours um i had time to read um i didn't do no writing i just read and um thinking about like looking at my youtube stuff making sure everything looks good i was um uh, recording for y'all know i'm doing my youtube shorts and stuff like that and i do like instagram and tiktok so i was recording for that and then um turn left onto san jose boulevard and then after that um oh wow it's gonna jump in front of me like that so after that, um, she decided she wanted to eat lunch because we were supposed to go to a nursing home because she's going to be in a nursing home. So I will be working with her at the nursing home. Um, and I'm okay with that because I actually wanted to work with clients at a nursing home. Um, so basically, I will be working with her at a nursing home. And then... Um, but anyway, so we didn't end up going to the nursing home. She's actually going to go there by herself, which I wish she would have had more time because with me but I have another client but if I didn't have another client I would have stayed a little longer because she don't need to be driving at all especially with her legs so anyways pass this light. then at the next one turn left so anyways um what happened oh we, so she decided to stop at Metro Diner so we went to Metro Diner I didn't eat anything because I did line, pack a lunch use the left two lanes to turn so I didn't eat Boulevard. anything at all because I have lunch and my goal is to save money this year and invest money this year and pay off debt so I didn't want to put myself in a bind to where I'm eating now turn no left. I made a lunch so that's important um, but other than that, uh, we came home, but it was like, we were pretty much out the entire shift. Like, we didn't even stay home. But with that client, I'm 9 out of 10. If she hired someone, it was for me to take her out. But I will be with her tomorrow, so uh, we'll see how that go. But she said she did have another dust appointment, but she was like, this dust appointment is further out. So I was like, oh, Lord. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But I just wanted to update you guys. I am headed to my second client for today. This one also is four hours. The one I just left was four hours. I was with her from 9.30 to 1.30. And this client, I am with him for 2 to 6.30 or 2.30, 6.30. No, 2 to 6. Yeah, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I'm move 2 to 6. So I get off at 6 o'clock. Um, and then I'm gonna head home and I probably won't pick up a camera when I'm home because I actually want to focus on getting my house together and try to figure out what I want to do to decorate and stuff but I get up at 6 so I'm super excited about that this client I'm going to I don't know nothing about this is actually my first time dealing with this client so we're gonna see how that goes but I'll talk to you guys later if I can. hey y'all so I just got off work headed home super duper tired so this client was pretty smooth the only thing i did was cook if you watch my my story um if you watch my tiktoks or if you watch my instagram story or even my youtube shorts you should be able to see where i was cooking i was cooking a t-bone steak uh, for my clients then they definitely enjoyed it it was husband and wife I cooked for both of them even though all my focus was supposed to be just on a one client I didn't mind you know I was already cooking so um I'm super duper tired I'm ready to go home and but I do have some things to do before I go home so yeah but she wants me to come to the wife wants me to come to, well the husband keep asking if i can come tomorrow but i was telling him that you know your wife have to <laughs> i was telling him that his wife have to request another caregiver and she, he also have to request me if he wants me or he can try someone else and see if someone else will play out for him um 
I can tell his wife was super duper tired. Um, she was able to get stuff done without worrying about him because I was able to sit there with him and watch TV. I pretty much just watched TV. I cooked and then cleaned up after I cooked. Um, and that's pretty much it for four hours. I just pretty much sat there and had a conversation. And then we started watching movies and all that eating their steak and stuff. And it was like, you can eat with us. And I was like, no. Um, I already just ate, so... You know, and plus I want to eat there because they had a bunch of cats and stuff. And it was like, when I was cooking, like, the cat's hair was all in the in the spoons and stuff. Like, nah. But I don't think I would have ate there anyways. If it's not fresh, brand new, I'm not eating it. It's not happening. I need to get a camera holder for my car because this is aggravating for real, for real. But so I'm over here actually where me and my husband wants to get a house at. Um, so yeah, yeah. I, when I first drove over here, I was telling my husband, I was like, I cannot wait to move over here because I grew up on this side of town. I grew up in this area. I went to schools over here and I would love for my kids to experience that as well. Because I low-key want to move out of Jacksonville, Florida. So. Yeah. Yeah. But um, today, just feel like it's been so long. I feel like my most difficult client was the one this morning. Which which I had to be back over there in the morning. Y'all, she is so difficult. <laughs> it's not that she's difficult. She's just grumpy. Like, she don't got no kids. She ain't got no rugs this here. She's just grumpy, y'all. She grumpy as hell. But at the same time, I don't take it to heart, you know. It don't bother me like, as much. But she's just grumpy. But I'll be with her tomorrow for four hours again. But she says she do have another doctor's appointment. So basically, we're going to be at another doctor's appointment. Um, that's what I'm going to be at. But after that, after 1 o'clock, I really don't have anything. So if they don't schedule me for anything by tomorrow or ask me by tonight, I'm just going to take that um, that afternoon and go and get tested for HIV. I have until 3 o'clock to go get my blood drawn because my appointment is on the 30th, I think. I'm not sure. They're taking me where I didn't want to go. Um, camera is not staying, um, staying put. It's aggravating me. Y'all, I'm so tired. For real. For real! I'm tired! I won't get home until 6.36. It's currently 6.09, so. I'm on the opposite side of time of where I live, so. But I love having conversations with my patients, finding out things, especially about their children. And it's crazy how, you know, up your upbringing sometimes determine of how who you're going to be in life. And so far, it seems like every client, children are successful. I'm talking about the one I just left, y'all. They, their children are nurses and doctors. You get what I'm saying? Like doctor, one the doctor is in the navy. She's a navy doctor. You know what I'm saying? They got nurse practitioners. Like, it's just crazy. And she was like, you know, it was different for her because she was able to give her children because she got it. You know, when you don't come from it, you know, it's kind of hard to go to school and stuff like that. That's true, but... No, I didn't come for money, but my mom definitely did her best. And she did enough to wear... I want to make sure my children come from money. I want to make sure that me and my children have a good life. You know, my husband and I have made so many plans. And as long as we stand in the line of God plans, then we're good. You know, so. I wonder which way they're taking me. It's just like, it just encouraged me to, to get my health together. Not only my health, but my husband's health. Because, you know, when we get old, we gotta take care of each other. 
you know we don't want to end up in a nursing home or anything like that you have to actually start while you're young another thing that i learned is you know take risks go after everything taking risks is seems like a big part of you know being successful you know she was telling me you know take risk you know go back to school get everything you can get no matter what and she was like it is hard with kids because she was a single mom before she got married her and her husband had been married they're long and they're old you know but he was married he got remarried because his wife died um but she was just telling me you know how she was a single mom and she went out after everything that she wanted but i'm just grateful for my husband i'm grateful for my children i'm grateful that god gave me my health yes i made sure i be positive but he still gave me strength he's still you know giving me so much strength y'all like god is just so amazing and he's just been doing things like i'm telling y'all people play down on cnas but you learn so much and it's it's all about what are you learning from your job you know what are you gaining and so far i realized i'm gaining knowledge and i'm also getting my body used to everything so when i do work in the hospital or when i do start my own private um home care you know um and she was like you're so good you should start your own you get what i'm saying like i'm learning so much of the medical field to where what I want to do because this is not this is not this is just a stepping stone for me this is the beginning like the, the last like last dude I told y'all that said he was like start from the bottom crawl your way up he said sometimes you have to get paid half of what you feel like you owe um you know just so that where I'm going Which way I should go? Did I come this way? Mm, it's okay, I'll go this way. I know where I'm going. Like I said, I grew up over here and I want to move over here. I'm gonna get a house up here with my family. But you know, this is a stepping stone and that's why I wanted to record that's why I wanted to record this journey because I want you guys to be able to see me, you know, start from here and be like, wow, Brenda came a long way. You know, Brenda said that God have a big plan for her, you know. Um, Cause yes, I'm working and while I'm not doing anything, I'm writing my book, you know. I'm not doing anything, I'm reading, I'm getting, you know. Listen, babe, are you listening? It's okay to start from the bottom. People can laugh at me all day about being a CNA, a home health. I don't care because this is just something. I'm only 27. I'm 27 years old and I'm starting from the bottom. This year, I told myself that I am not going backwards. And that's why I started the 12 week program because the 12 week program have opened my eyes to so many things. Um, in life so hey y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Brenda J um, I know I normally don't um, introduce myself like I'm supposed to so I'm gonna go and do it here even though it's in the middle of the vlog so hey babe so I don't know I'm a little off today but I want to recap so yesterday um, I worked. I did not record anything and that's because yesterday was just so freaking crazy. So let's recap from yesterday and then we're going to talk about today. So yesterday I had one client from 9 to 1 p.m. But unfortunately I was super super duper late. Um, I was so late. I was like maybe 16 minutes late and my client had a doctor's appointment. She ended up calling my job because I was late. So this morning, that morning, in the beginning, like my husband dropped the kids off. I got lazy. I just laid there for a little while. And then um, all of a sudden, I think it's this way. All of a sudden, um, I just laid there for a little while and then I got up got was getting dressed still taking my slowest time like I had a lot of time and I felt like oh because my client was 10 minutes away I had time to get up blah 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 no that's not what happened 
So I end up, my husband ended up cooking me breakfast, so that took longer. And then I started feeling nauseous. And I immediately started throwing up, brushing my teeth, all that stuff. By the time I got out the house, it was nine o'clock. No, it was like 9, 9.04. So I knew I was super late and I'm just like, oh my God. So got to the, oh, so my job called me and said, where are you? I said, two minutes away or whatever. And then, um, and then after that, So I pulled up, I pulled up, my client was already in the car with the thing up, car cranked up and everything waiting on me. So I apologize. Um, I'm thinking that we were gonna be super duper late to her appointment. Baby, we still had like 40 minutes and it only took us 10 minutes to get there. Crazy. People are so like, they're just so dramatic. But anyways, I was wrong because I knew better. I knew I had to go to work. I should have been completely ready and i should have had everything done before it was time for me to go thank you jesus i knew i had to get up but i said i laid there because i did not even want to go to work so that was on me um so i took her to a doctor's appointment and then i like she normally just go in and then i come out to her so i had did just that um i ended up So I ended up um, drop like final parking space stuff like that. So I came upstairs and I saw her sitting down. So she was signing some paperwork, and then I was I sat I sat next to her. Um, she was in a wheelchair, so I was sitting in the one of the seats. So all of a sudden she grabbed her phone and I see my job name pop up. So I was like, okay. Um, so she called. She was like, I don't know where Brenda is with my car. She got my car. I don't know where she is. I'm up here at the doctor's office. And I'm like literally sitting next to her, listening to her say this. Like she doesn't even see me. That's the crazy part. She don't even see me and she's saying all of this stuff. So I'm just, I'm just listening. I didn't even say a word. So the office coordinator ended up calling me. And I was like, yeah. I said, hey. She was like, she's on that such a son. And I was like, yeah, I know. I'm sitting next to her. I knew he was going to call me. Um, I, I was sitting next to her when she called you. So she started laughing and stuff. And then I hung up. And I was like, hey, such and such. I've been sitting here this whole time. She was like, oh, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. This is my face. So, um, <laughs> so after that, she got this thing where she wants me to eat out with her. Ma'am, first of all, I'm trying to lose weight, okay? I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to invest money. That money I'm, that you want me to spend with you going out to eat all the time, that can be something. I need my hair done. My focus is figuring out what, what I'm going to do to my hair. That's my focus. At. My focus is what's she in, what's she in package that I'm going to be ordering. Okay, my focus is what new couch I'm gonna get for my living room. Buying Chick Fil A and, and and restaurants is not on my list right now, babe. I'm sorry. She was like, "You're no fun. You never want to eat." She was like, "You never want to eat out. You're boring to eat with." And, ma'am, <laughs> I'm boring because I don't want to spend no money. You gotta like that, boo. You got it like that. I saw you spend money. I'm not doing that. I got I got goals. You know what I'm saying? I got goals and stuff that I have to accomplish in a certain amount, a, cert, a, a short amount of time. I have so much coming up that you guys don't even know about. Um, I have to, my coins is already been stretched out in different places. I have stuff to do, babe. So, um, we ended up going to Chick-fil-A and then we went to um a dealership a car dealership you could tell the man was so aggravated with us because of her but she is spicy one so i'm not surprised but anyways um after that i left i went home Mommy. i was supposed to pick up my camera but i was just so frustrated about the day yo i was tired drained my body's starting to hurt a lot lately because of my body's not being used to working working all the time 
so my body's starting to hurt more. Um, I'm trying to get that situated now. So, um, I'm so oh, so let me tell y'all. So, I was like, okay, well, you know, this is an opportunity. I got at one o'clock. Let me go get tested for HIV. So, when my appointment come, my labs is already done, girl. I was too tired to go. I did not want to go. But me and my husband ended up going looking for some furniture. That didn't work out. I did find a nice bed, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get it because I don't know how I'm going to get it to my home. And then um, I just stayed home for the rest of the day. I was just so drained. So I just, I finally got up. Oh, I took a nap. I finally got up and then I went in there with my husband and. I was watching BMF with him. I get a phone call, right? I get a phone call from my job telling me that my my um, today my today um, client canceled. So you're telling me that they can cancel anytime, and that means you cut, you just cut eight hours from me. You just cut eight hours for me. Not only did you cut eight hours for me, that's another video, a short, a short video that I don't have because I, I'm, go, I'm doing a main marathon. So main marathon is basically y'all gonna be getting a bunch of vlogs from me, um, back to back, back to back. So I'm gonna try to post like twice a week or two hour blogs a week but May Marathon is something that I want to put in myself that I can do so that's why we're doing it but anyways um, I was upset because I'm just like y'all cutting in my hours and the fact that y'all cutting in my hours and then turn around I have to just accept it I don't I don't like that but that's my fault because I think I keep forgetting that this is temporary yes I got this job or whatever but I'm not so I'm only supposed to stay at this job until the situation next week happens you get what I'm saying like I have to keep reminding myself because I don't know why I keep thinking long term with this job but um, this job is temporary is just to get some checks in because I have so y'all I this morning I was writing down all six videos that I gotta do for y'all I'm super excited first of all I am so grateful that you guys are watching my nursing journey I have people say some negative things to me and about me because of what I say in my videos um, but this is my nursing journey. I want to be a nurse. I was born to be a nurse. I knew I was gonna be a nurse since the age of 10 years old. So um, the point of me wanting to be a nurse is not for the money, it's not for the boba, it's not for the bags and the, and the um, scrubs. First of all, if y'all knew how hard it was t to be a nursing in any part of nursing, Y'all won't even be putting your mouth to say stuff like that. The stuff that we have to deal with every single day, you would have never said that to us at all. You don't know what I deal with. The thing is, I, I don't tell y'all everything that I deal with because the confidential. I try to be like very careful of what I share with you guys. And I share it. The way I share it is you have to show proof that I broke HIPAA laws. Because I could be talking about imaginary um, client. I've never said client name. Never said client live. I never said client anything. I am I, like I'm very careful because um, HIPAA laws or whatever. So yeah. But anyways, um, I this is this is this whole thing is about my nursing journey. This is the beginning. Like I told y'all before, and this one client I had, his friend came. And he told me the best way to become successful is starting from the bottom. Literally. It's no fun. Like, you know how some people do come for money and they don't have to struggle from the bottom? 
He said, struggle from the bottom is what made him who he is today. And it's sad, but it's true. What, Nova? No, be quiet. You're going to my house. So, my bottom is home health. Um, I had got my HHA certification last year. Never used it until now. Um, I got it and I didn't use it at the time. Now that I'm using it, it's cool. So, um, I have, like I said before, I have a lot. I want, okay. I have a lot of certifications and a lot of things that I want to put under my belt. I want to work in a lot of areas. Um, by the end of the year, I want three jobs, three different fields. Um, there are things that I'm going to be certified in. Uh, oh, that's a nice Range Rover. Um, I'm going to be certified in certain areas. And I'm just super excited about that. Um, like, you guys are going to see me come from home health and just see me grow up and that's what I wanted from the beginning I want y'all to be able to see my growth in areas that I don't even talk about um where's my book y'all I cannot find my book you know read them it's not in the car and I wanted that book to read so I'm headed to my mom's house right now because my daughter wanted to go help her my house and since I'm off today, I was supposed to go get tested for HRV today as well since I have the free time. But because I left the house so late, um, morning is over. Morning is from 8 to 11.30. 8 or 9, one of them, I forgot what she said. And then the next one is from 1 to 3.30. But my kids just informed me that um, they, have, they get out of school early today. So it's early release day and I have the car. I'm not at work, so I'm going to pick up the kids myself. So now I gotta do that. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to go to my appointment. Well, not my appointment, to get blood drawn. And um, yeah, I don't know if that's I'm gonna be able to do that because I wanna make sure I'm able to pick them up tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna end this vlog today or continuing it tomorrow. I do have to work tomorrow from, tomorrow's what, Thursday? I have to look at my schedule. I don't know what days I work. But I know I work tomorrow. I just don't know what times I work tomorrow. We're not going to McDonald's. We have McDonald's seven days in the row. If I calculate five times seven, that's how much money I wasted on McDonald's. So the answer is no. But, um, we all my mistake. Alright. Still going. I should have took the highway where I probably would have got there a little faster, but even though it still would have been 30 minutes. Still would have been 30 minutes. So I was somewhat productive today. Um,. I'm not going to talk too much about everything that I'm doing until it's done, but I am going to say I am going to nursing school. Um, I am going to get, um, so I am like going in a row, home health, CNA, uh, phlebotomy, all these things I'm going to get before I become an LPN. Um, I'm not going to tell you I went to LPN school. You guys will see those vlogs. And I'm not going to talk about too much about what I got going on. Everybody is not happy for you. Everybody don't want to see you win. So you just have to be very, very careful of what you say out loud and premature. So, um, yeah. So I am headed to my mom's and see what they got going on. I know my mom at work, so my sister and her daughter is there. And Nova plays with my niece pool, so. I mean keeping them together because they're the youngest two right now. My sister pregnant, so they're the youngest two right now, and I want them to be close, so I don't mind picking up my car and headed over there. Even my sister could have met me this time. I was trying to get her to bring her the chuck and cheese that day when, went, when I got off work, but... That, ooh! The hell? 
Okay, so um, I'll talk. Good morning, happy Thursday. It's almost the weekend, honey. It's almost the freaking weekend. So I'm not gonna talk much because I have to go. But I just wanted to come in and let you guys know I am currently at work already. Um, I'm ready to go home. My husband had told me he was like, if you don't want to work or if you feel like you can't do it, quit. Sir. I can't quit every time I'm tired. <laughs> But there's other things that made me consider, but I have a goal to reach, and my focus is on my goals. And then on top of that, um, I have a lot of stuff to do this week, so I'm barely going to be working next week, so you guys will see that as well. But I wanted to start this vlog off. So where I'm at now, the patient, I never worked with this patient before, so I don't know what to expect. Um, yeah. Hey y'all, so I made that video short, unfortunately, with this particular client that y'all just seen. Um, my patient ended up on the floor when I came back from my break. His wife is 83 years old, so she could not help me get him off the floor. I was by myself. In this job, I'm only supposed to be lifting up 25 pounds, but because there was nobody else around to help me with him, I actually had to pick him up by myself, and it caused me to have so much back pain. It's the pain I can't even describe. I've been taking Tylenol after Tylenol. Nothing is working, so and now I've just been laying down um trying to get stuff together but it's okay things will change soon and hopefully for the better also um, i do want to give this nugget to someone who's listening to the sound of my voice if you are planning on doing something with your life and you feel like it's too late because you are a certain age or you feel like you're behind i'm here to tell you babe God don't make mistakes, and if he really wanted you to have it in that moment, trust me, you would have had it. Trust me. Believe me when, when I say that. Um, I was stressing recently about things I, I felt like I wasn't doing or getting done or I was looking at other people. And one thing I had to learn is stop looking at other people or what they're doing. Everybody's season is not the same. See you on the next video.